Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of One and Done. Uh, got Mitchell here again. Just came off the shelves. Just like Elf on the Shelf. Well, br- brand new, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, we're taking a little uh, stab at some games that we like playing, uh, either older or newer, uh, that we don't think get enough credit. Um, we're tackling Dante's Inferno today. Um, did you play this one at all, Mitchell? Uh, no, I have not played this one. No. You said you delved into a little bit of the, the folklore. Yeah, it's it. a it's a little messed up. Yeah, it's uh it's based on a for anyone who doesn't know Dante's Inferno, is based on. Uh, well, let's go to this dark game. It's based on a whoa. What is this? Do you want to play in resurrection no. mode? Go through the answer. Great. Is it? No, no, thank you. Um, it's based on a book called, um, the Divine Comedy. And we're going to play a little game today of how much of this game am I going to have to blur? Because uh, we're already starting to get silhouettes on the right side, and it's it's not looking good. Silhouettes, all I see is uh, pixelation. Yeah, we're going to go with, we're going to go with pixelation. Uh, oh, these should be fine. Uh, we're It's been a while since I played this, but we're not going to play on the easiest. Hellish Infernal, you are damned. Means of hell, eh, we'll play on Zealot. Should be normal. I don't think we're gonna get super, super deep into it, but um, it, it's a it's a kind of a weird story um, of Dante trying to. Well, well, let's go from here. In the year ni- uh, eleven ninety one, European knights of the Third Crusade captured the city of is that a C Acre. acre? Or as King Richard, 3,000 civilian prisoners were detained. They were held to ransom on a holy relic. I think by the Saladin and Kurdish protector of the Holy Land. It's a hostile war, and Saladin dug in and refused to negotiate. Richard grew frustrated and ensured the attack on Jerusalem. The fate of the innocent prisoners was left undecided. I should have had subtitles on for this. Yeah, you think? Yeah. We can't hear it. <laughs> Pretty good graphics for a game that came out in 2010. Right? I mean, it's a little little gory. He's basically... He is sewing himself up? Yep. We definitely needed this close-up shot of it, too. Yeah. I don't know if stitches are supposed to hurt that much. No. Well, not when you're doing it with thick yarn, either. True. Jeez, that looked rough. I like the different art styles. It's kind of like the movie that came out. Yeah. Um, where they had a movie based on this, an animated movie, but it was different um, parts of the movie were of different animations. All right, uh, jumping into right some into it. Yeah. Yep. So basically, the whole story is some stuff went down. Whoa. Uh, where with him and his wife Beatrice and. end up going to hell and him having to go through the gates or the circles of hell to get to Beatrice because of some bad stuff he did this combat definitely reminds me of God of War for sure it, it definitely does especially when you get when you start getting into the combos um, and with the different weapons that you pick up or um, uh, you'll, you'll see later on in the game it definitely does have uh, the feel of God of War there's a lot more people here than I remember. I mean, to be fair, it also just feels like uh, a classic just beat em up. Yep. It is a really fun button masher. I always like button mashers like this when they had, um, when they gave you a weapon that had long range. Oh, yeah. Rather than just a sword. Right. Just like to see uh, the big number on the left hand. Yep. That is a, a oh, 63 so far. I want to say there's achievements. These for guys doing. are getting destroyed by meteors too. Yeah, they are. Oh, so am I. Damn it. 
Oh, stop it. Jesus. Think, oh, I think you're done. That boat did some heavy damage. To that That's brick. a well-built boat. Yeah, it is. Wait, where am I going here? Probably onto the boat. Oh, across. Press A. Ow. Press jump to jump. Jump. I think it's just the scenery of how it took place, but uh, oh, but it looks kind of like Dark Souls. The scenery of it, at least. Yeah, no, I agree. If you're at that point of life where you're starting to see the Grim Reaper, you don't think you would have much pain. Left. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to pull out a knife in your back, though. No. Not enough leverage. Oh. 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 Blocked the wrong way. Oh, nope, nope. Although the way that this doesn't feel like a God of War game is uh, they don't give you every power to start with. Yeah, and then take them away. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, in God of War 1, they didn't do that. True. But every following God of War, they did that. I think it was, like, what, the second or third one? Where, oh, Jesus. Where they sent you straight to hell with Hades. And I think like, that was the third one where uh, he pours his power into the sword. Uh... Oh god. Ooh. Why didn't they tell me about evade earlier? Uh they didn't think to mention it. <sighs> Dang it. I I feel like this would be bad for uh for business if you could just fight the uh Grim Reaper every time a person dies. <laughs> yeah. Although how many people do you think would actually win? Well, I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. <laughs> ha. Ooh. I was not blocking that one. Also, I don't know what I, uh... Halberd handle could handle a scythe. No, not one of that size. And what I like about that, I got, um, when I pre-ordered this game, uh, it came with an actual figure of Dante while he's holding the scythe from death, or from the Grim Reaper. And it's cool because it actually does do that where you could fold it out and it comes a spear. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. I mean, if you think about it, a scythe really is an awful weapon. Yeah. Because it just leaves so you get one attack and then you're just open. And it's not like you can block either because the guard is just gonna. They can just rip up your hands. Yeah. I mean, it's. Oh, God, it's such a beautiful weapon to play with in this game, though. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, White Souls allow you to purchase new abilities. Oh. Yeah, you can either... I was telling Mitchell about this before. You can either take one of two routes with this game. You can either... Um, uh, either damnation people or uh, damn them to hell or atone them for their sins.
mean, these cutscenes look amazing. Yeah, they look I nice. really like this. Yeah, it's very well rendered. Mm -hmm. You could tell they had a company like EA behind them. Yeah. <laughs> with the money. And this was the only game of the, that they came out with for Dante's Inferno, right? Or yeah. was there a second one? There was supposed to be a second one. The way this one ended, and I won't spoil it for anyone, but yeah, it, it ended with a, easily a second one being in the options. This may be the first thing I have to blur. The dead crow? No, not the crow. That is his father, I believe, if I can remember correctly. His father was an awful man. And, oh. And he's actually, one, I think, one of the bosses in one of the levels. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You probably, yeah. I I'm mean, have to blur that. again, all I see is just <laughs> pixelated, a pixelated body. I actually think I like the folklore behind this one a little more than I do with God of War. Well, this one uh, is more focused on a book than rather mm -hmm. Norse mythology. Mm -hmm. And this one sticks more true to its source material than God of War probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, they they play a little. I mean, a lot of the stuff is true in God of War, but it's 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 very loose with the rules. Yeah, I mean, you can when you're trying to fit a figure like Kratos into the Greek mythology or uh, Norse mythology. Yeah. Okay. Every now and then you just need a good button masher, and this is a good one. I don't... Can I get to it yet? Yes, you can. So, um, the upgrade thing is actually pretty cool. You can... Like, right now we're going on the path of uh, Unholy. Um, we can cross over to Holy with um, doing the, the atoning for sins and stuff like that. Um... You got magic that you're going to get throughout the game, which is really cool. There's a lot of collectibles um, and relics to get. In. The relics have powers of their own, I believe, as well. I'm trying to remember. Last time I played, this was like six or seven years ago. Um, yeah, there's, there's actually a, quite a lot. And then you can get uh, the, the, the journals, which actually goes into um, more of the folklore behind it, uh, along with the, the bestiary um, and Virgil, who is someone you'll meet when you go down to the gates of hell. There's a lot in this game. Oh, that's cool. Upgrade available. You have now collected enough souls to purchase an upgrade to access them. Yeah, we were just there. Okay. Um, Diabolic Ascension. So if you go into the Unholy, can you still swap over? Or? Yes. Yes. Um, we just can't yet because we don't have... Um, when you, I want to say it's triggered, and someone can correct me with this, but I want to say it's triggered when you get the, um, when you get the cross. There's like a cross in like the first place of hell when you go there. Got it. And once you pick that up, because then that's how you atone people. Got it. Yeah. Uh, Vile wind. That Real looks cool. Water. Sure, we'll go that route. That looks cool. Make our way up to, I believe, the church. So this would have come out when God of War 2 would have been out, right? 
I believe so, yeah. Because God of War 1 was a PS2 game. Yep. And then God of War 2 is a PS3, or PS3 game. PS3, Xbox 360. No, only PS2. Or yeah, God of War and God of War 2 were both PS2 games. Were they? Was it PS2? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So this would have been PS3 then, or this would have been uh, God of War 3. This Yeah, this would have been God of War 3, God of War Ascension also came out this time, and then they also came out with the remakes of... They had two remakes of, I think, God of War 1 and 2... As well as the Origin Collection, I believe, which was the two PSP games that I mentioned before. They, yeah, they, they, they milked that franchise. And then with the reboot. Yeah, and then on PS4, then they had to get the remakes of the other God of, uh, I think God of War 3 had a remake on that as well. Although, to be fair, I've heard that the remake is a lot better than the original. Mm -hmm. I liked it more. More goes into its, uh, it doesn't stick to its Norse uh, mythology as tight, right? Or is it still? Oh, you're talking about like the brand, brand new. Yeah. Um, the reboot, basically. Um, it, it, it does. I mean, we're we're just getting into the the gods a lot. Mm -hmm. Like we haven't really messed with Thor or Odin, um, at least not yet. There's a, a cool little snippet with Thor. That was really neat in the movie, um, or the game. But yeah, it kind of does the same thing with the Greek gods, where it plays a little fast and loose with what it considers, um, I guess, canon to the God of War story. Sure, yeah. So I wonder how much the, the boy will play into the story. Uh, I take it you don't know his name. Well, no, of course not. I haven't played I, the game. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but... It's a, uh, he's a big, big character. Got it. A very, you, you would know, you don't know his name name, his, um, name that his mother, no, not his mother gave to him, but his, his Nordic, his Norse name from his mom's side. Because you learn who his mom was. And, um, I won't say who he is, but just to give you a little hint, who the boy may be. The mom is a uh, a certain type of frosty giant. Doesn't help me that much. Oh, you don't know the... No, okay. I, I don't know too much of Norseman mythology. <laughs> okay, so for people who may know about that, the mom is a, was a frost giant. So then there's a connection between who that boy is and who and who his mom is now. I don't want to spoil it for people on here, but I'll let you know after this. Sure, sounds yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't gotten a chance to play it, for anyone out there, I highly recommend that one. Um, there is some really hard parts with that one, like the Valkyries, but it's it's a toughie. The Valkyries are hard. The rest of the game is beautiful. That's a big cross. Yeah. Now it's a now it's a bridge. Oh. I think that's just getting health. Yeah. Are you not gonna pick that up? Um uh, it's just health. I had full health already. Move the L uh, the L I'm down, press A okay, cool. Oh, okay. I I need to know a dismount. <laughs> okay. Apparently that, that's a thing. Ring down the gate. So this is where he's entering into hell at this point. Yep. That scythe has some reach on it. Yeah, it does. It is awesome. This, this is, out of all the video game weapons, this particular scythe is one of my favorites. I would probably put it within my top ten favorite video game weapons. Shoot. Oh, don't get crushed. Get away, get away, get away. You gotta open up the gate. Oh, I gotta kill them all first. There we go. Oh, I see. As soon as you're out of the way, it moves faster. 
Is it still following me? Oh no, that was just that. I was like, why? Oh. Hey, there's the bridge. I mean, cross. Oh. Oh, little fire people. Everything was nice and calm until the Fire Nation arrived. Are you gonna hit it? Stop moving! <laughs> Come oh. on, it's right there. Hit it. You can't block that. Why am I not hitting it? Oh, there you go. You have to use that ability. Yep. Ow. Oh, there's more of them somewhere. Come on. Ow, ow. Hey, they're hitting you. You might want to stop them. Yeah. There Perfect. Oh, for Pete's Probably sake. Not. Probably not the best <laughs> choice there. No. When a uh, wrench bar is filled, uh, okay, both bumpers to activate. Oh, oh, oh. Let's, let's get on this side of the bar here. So this is like the Spartac Rage. Yep. Which wasn't in the first game, was it? No, that didn't kick in until later. Whoa, get out of the way. There we go. Well, help. Yeah, why not? Oh, right, we're on 360, so you can actually save without a memory card. Yep. Although it still has the memory card slot. That's for USBs as well. True. Oh, yeah, it's just USBs. They don't actually have the memory card slot. No. I uh, want to see you can hook up to the backhoe, can't you? Uh, maybe, but I can't move the Xbox no, right now. No, I'd rather not. Okay, so what are all these? This would be souls. Health I'll keep till later. Oh, that's Virgil. Mm. Isn't he like the gatekeeper to hell or something? Uh, No, he kind of acts as your guide mm. throughout all the circles. So far I'm getting like three or four times I'm going to have to blur to figure out how to do that properly now. And here I was worried about playing games like Doom or, <laughs> you know, Wolfenstein. Oh, I got magic. Uh, you have found new magic, Righteous Path. Uh, please enter the magic screen and modify button assignments. Mm -hmm. so, so Virgil is uh, generally taken uh, to represent human reason. Which guides and uh, protects individuals through the through the world of sin. I can I can see that because he he means to act as your act of reasoning to guide you through here. Um, so if you think something, he'll he'll kind of teach you and. Um, I, I can definitely see that. Uh, performs a dash attack and leaves a trail of icy shards in his wake. Cool. So hold this and then it'll be Y because that's not top. Okay. Cool beans. Cool beans. And purple is mana. You say mana or mana? Which one do you say? Mana. Mana. Oh, that's fancy. What that? That's that's. Ooh, look at that. That's fancy. Yeah, and I want to say, depending on which weapon you use, too, I don't know if that has any say in which way the thing leans uh, for holy or unholy as well. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, you can do some really heavy damage with this thing.
Oops. Oh, I still got him. Oops. Is there no limit to how many times you can do that? Nope, this is not magic based. The, uh, unfortunately, the, the ice one is, but not this one. Oh, that was a miss. Yeah, nice attack. Thank you. Thing's got some calves on it. Yeah, it does. Take scythe hits to the tool. Leave me out there. Oh, I took a little bit of damage. I can't believe it. I am. There we go. Hey, you might want to hit right trigger. Yeah, I know. For some reason, with the... With the 360 and the PS3, it's just a pain in the butt for me to get used to these. I hesitate whenever I'm picking them up, or whenever I'm hitting the buttons. Uh, okay, X2, pound fist, Y2, stop. Sweet. Ooh, and beat a breather. Breathe fire. Cool. One hit KO. Can you imagine if they made this a VR game? Oh, it'd be <laughs> vomit inducing. Yeah, what? Well, if you're riding on top of this thing and it was doing this? Yeah. Open the door now. Yes, I do. You missed out on a thing of souls, though. Yeah. Unless your thing just dies here. Kind of hoping it, it did. No, we're. Just falling. I don't know Just what fall. I don't know what happened to him. Nice face. Yeah. Ooh, superhero landing. That's got awful for your knees. It is. It really is. All right. So, save game here. It's Elliot. Classic, classic Elliot. Yes. Good timing too. Yeah, but yeah, that's basically just starting to get into the Dante's Inferno game. Um, you still got all the layers of hell to go through. Each one is based on a different sin. So you have um, jealousy, greed, um, envy. lust, envy. You know, you know all the um, gluttony. Gluttony. Gluttony's a. If I remember that one, that one's quite a disgusting boss to play against. Yeah. Um, yeah. There are quite a few of them in here that are like they had to take some time and somebody had to be a little messed up to draw these <laughs> mentally. Um, but it's a really fun game and I highly recommend this one. But um, yeah, I had a blast. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to leave a, uh, a comment below, like and subscribe if you haven't. More the merrier. And I will see you all next time. Take care and peace out.